Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. So, there is a company named Life Ward. Uh-huh. And they are in the business of making mobility devices for paralyzed people. Okay. So basically, um, they call them like an exoskeleton type device. And it's something that you um, you put on your legs if you're paralyzed. And it can allow you to like walk. Because it helps. I don't know if it stimulates the... Um, Stimulate your stuff or just helps provide support because it's, you know, it has like the hydraulic on the YouTube channel. If you go and look, there's a picture of it. It wraps around your legs. You still have to use like arm braces. You're not just like out there walking free, running again, but you can get up in your mobile rather than being wheelchair bound. I assume that just gives you like some stability to the legs, keeping you up a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah, well, it supports your legs because you, yeah. you're atrophied. You can't yeah, walk. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, it's life changing for someone. Who needs it? So this was a guy. Uh, there was a guy. His name is Michael Strait. He was a former jockey. So he must have got thrown off a horse and got paralyzed. Yikes. He bought one of these machines for $100,000. Yeah, nothing nothing like that is going to be cheap. But dude, if, if my options were be wheelchair bound or a $100,000 machine, like if I had the money, I'm getting it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, insurance will probably cover it to some extent, right? Yeah, maybe, think? yeah. But so essentially, he had he had this. I don't know how long he's had it, um, but there a, there was like a battery issue with it, where it stopped working. Um, maybe he's had it for ten years. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so um, he's had it for a long time. Yeah, he's had it for a while, and the battery stopped. The battery. Th- there was a battery issue. I think it was a wiring issue or something yeah. like that. It was basically what it ended up coming down. It was like a twenty dollar like fix. It mm-hmm. was very very cheap. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, but they the, he called the company to have them fix it, and they were like, "Sorry, we no longer work on that model." What? Yeah. So. Homeboy pays a hundred K for something. So yeah. And he called them up. And so for two months, this thing didn't work until he went to the internet to like cause a ruckus about it. And then once, once the bad PR came out, it got fixed four days later. No. So it was that that quick of a, it's something he couldn't have fixed himself, but the company can fix. Right. Yeah. So, so It's, it's funny how they could fix it, but they were just like, we don't work on that model. Yeah. We, yeah. That model's discontinued. So here, here, here is really what I want to talk about. Like that shady is F. What obligation do these companies have? They're providing these life changing devices for people, and there's no right to repair. So their their solution was like, oh, your twenty dollar battery went wrong. Pay us another hundred thousand dollars. Buy a new suit. Buy a new suit. Um, I mean. What do they? So you said, what right do they what have? What do they owe? They don't owe you shit. They don't. No. 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 But I would say to you is that a company that is based on providing equipment to help people who are in need and does not have does not offer to repair items as they degrade. Is has lost their way. Well, right. And it's not like it was like, oh, like one leg stopped working. Yes. Can you re- do, repair it? It's a battery went bad. If we were talking about venture capitalists or we were talking about, uh, I don't know, thieves, then I'd be like, yeah, the thieves, of course, they're going to screw you. But we're talking about <laughs> the people who make things to help people in need. The whole business plan is to help people who are paralyzed walk. And then somebody in need says, hey, I need help. And you can't even refer him to a place that would assist him or an, an, an option. Right. Like you, and We're not asking for you to make a house call. All we're saying is like, give the man an option. But if the man feels that he has to go to the internet to get the thing handled, then it seems to me is that they did not give him an option. And I feel like they lost their way. It's sad. It's disgusting. Yeah. And uh, goddamn, I'm glad. I I don't get Schadenfreude, but I'm happy that this man got his stuff yeah. fixed. <laughs> and like I could see if the whole thing quit working, and they're like, "You've had it ten years, bro. Buy a new one." We can't fix the one like we we're not replacing half the unit because yeah. the one leg doesn't work. But like when he was like called them up and goes, "Hey man, there's a problem. I think the battery's malfunctioning." Hundred K. Like really. 
Come on, man. Listen to what people have to say. With, with inflation, that 100K is probably more. It was 100K when he bought it 10 ago. years yeah, ago. A million dollars. Yeah. Right? How much is but, it now? It's, uh, but it's so wild because I've had, like, I've had this happen when I called a company, not for something like this, but, like, it's, it's so funny. Like, sometimes, like, you'll call a company because you're having a problem, and, like, the problem is a very small problem. Yeah, but they, they just won't do. even listen to what you have to say. And they're just like, sorry, can't help you. Sorry, can't help you. Sorry. Then you finally get somebody else on the phone and they take the five seconds to listen to what you're saying. And they're like, oh, yeah, we can help you with that. Like, it's like if somebody would just listen to the man and been like, it's a battery wire. Can you please help me resolder That's it? That's probably what it was. You know what I mean? Like, but and like you said, if, if, if your business is helping people and you refuse to help somebody, That's that crazy. costs you basically nothing. That's why it's that's why it hits different, honestly. Because if it were any other business, if it were bankers or like paper products, it wouldn't be would even care. But it's the it's the fact that you're supposed to be helping people. That's yeah. Well, I mean, but what if? But here, but he, actually, this is what I want. I I totally thought about this. So you want Neuralink? I do want Neuralink. You get Neuralink. I do want Neuralink. Neuralink goes out of business. Yes. Your Neuralink malfunctions, and you're basically brain dead. You know well, what are you gonna do? What are you talking about? You get an implant in your brain from a company. Neuralink's gonna go out of business. It doesn't have to be Neuralink. It's the you get a bionic eye because bioniceye.com, and okay. then your bionic eye malfunctions. But the management of bi bionicguy.com mismanaged the funds. They're bankrupt. They no longer exist. So now you can't get your eye fixed, and you have lost your sight in one eye. And it's a simple fix. But bionicguy.com is gone. Okay, so. Um, if it were Neuralink, I don't think that that company is going anywhere. And there's like a code of ethics that they have to follow where, um, some sort of upkeep or removal process has to be ensured. I'm but you sure said they don't know you shit first and second. I do say that, but I think that this is a little bit like you're putting something on the inside of your body versus you buying but a product what if they're out of business. No mean? one owns the company. The company doesn't do it anymore. Then I'll just have to go to somebody who can do something with it. I'll have to find a specialist. What if there's not one? I mean, there's the internet, man. If this guy can get his So if his Neuralink broke, closed burnt... tomorrow and homeboy who got one has something go wrong with it, he's going to go find another specialist on the internet to fix it? Oh, what else do you have? What other option do you have yeah. at that point? But like, there's just going to be more and more of these like modify your body things. What do you want me to say? Things. I die? I guess I die, bruh. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> Bronus? Yeah. I guess I die, Bronus. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Big bro, <laughs> Big bro. with the nass at the end. I guess I die. That's what bro I Bro nass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like but but the more things that you know, Neuralink is not going to be the the only. There's going to be people who are like, "Oh, you, you're your hand's messed up. You have arthritis in your hand. Let me put a hand implant that's in." That's why that's why America has most of that shit handled by medical facilities like we don't have too many private this ain't borderlands where we just got like people <laughs> implanting shit in our arms and shit like there's i can't go to the vault and like or i can go over to i don't remember all the names of the guns but you get what i'm saying like yeah, 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 yeah. i go to like the different guys and i get different parts put in it doesn't work like that not yet like we aren't far from that but most of the stuff, we have a code of ethics in this country. We have, like, the Hi Hippocratic Oath. We have, like, if you're doing something like that with people, there's something totally different. I was watching uh, another Neil deGrasse Tyson where they were talking about creating a an organic brain through, like, science and technology. And they were saying is that if they were ever to create something that actually gained consciousness, that there is a totally different way that they would have to approach any further research research done on that on that object. So I feel like when you're dealing with real people, there is a certain code of conduct that you have to take that any company going into body modification you have to take. Yeah, but there's people who do who do like under the table abortion. So why wouldn't there be under the table? Why wouldn't there be under the table illegal ones? I mean, if you choose to get an illegal uh, the neural link from Ray Ray down the street, <laughs> then you deserve to have your brain effed up. All right, y'all, y'all like like 
Why, why is the phone number cut off, Ray Ray? Yeah. <laughs> I, I called him up as disconnected. <laughs> Did you see the lady giving air shots in the neighborhood? So there was like a lady doing like a mobile, like, what do you, like butt injections? You ever, you know what I'm talking about here? Like Botox for the booty? It's like Botox booty butt in injections make your ass look like plump for okay, when you want to go right. to the club. Totally necessary, but yeah, Totally sure. unnecessary, but you know, women go a, a far, a far way to uh, appeal to men and men go a long way to appeal to women as well. Um, but yeah, she was doing like a, it was like a food truck, <laughs> With like, but she would just like take it around and she had like a table in there and you would just lay on the table and she'd fill your ass with injection. She didn't know what the hell she was doing. Pretty That's, sure, wow. Yeah. Pretty sure she got charges brought up on her. I would say, but I'm was, sure someone's ass got infected. Mm, yeah. Yeah. When your ass rejects the juice that somebody just put in it, like yeah, exactly. Just put a bunch of silicone lo- raw silicone just in there. So if she can't get away with doing that, Ray Ray no- can't get away with his brain implant. Ray, yes, Ray Ray can't get away with <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh that's all time we have today's episode. Go to the crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.